Hey guys, the glory of the hero is the Wrath of the Lich King Heroic Dungeon meta achievement. It awards the Red Proto Drake, as you can see. There are 37 achievements in total, which seems like a lot, but since it's level 80 content, a lot of them are as simple as walking up and one-shotting the boss. They're all technically soloable, but there is one where you may have an easier time if you just bring one friend. I'll cover that when we get to it. Note that the Share the Love achievement, which requires 5 people, is no longer required. And lastly, of course make sure that you do all of these in heroic mode. The first stop is the Utgard Keep, located right here in the Howling Fjord in Northrend. Pretty easy start here. Just one achievement, called On the Rocks. Defeat Prince Keliseth on heroic difficulty, without shattering any frost tombs. Just walk up and one-shot him to grab your first of 37 achievements. The next dungeon is the Utgard Pinnacle, located right outside the keep right here on the map. The entrance is on the outside this time. First is the Incredible Hulk. Force Svala Sorrowgrave to kill a Scourge Hulk. To do this, you need to grab a nearby Abomination. I grabbed the one to your right as you're facing the boss. Also note that this achievement is a bit buggy and you need to pull the boss before the abomination or otherwise you might not get credit. What you need to do is bring the abomination's health to under 5% which can be tricky since you do so much damage. There are a few ways to do this such as stripping naked and getting resurrection sickness but the best way in my opinion is to pick up the whole body shrinker toy. This greatly reduces your damage, and you can buy it from a horde vendor named Ravika. You can find her right here in the Echo Isles in Durotar, and although you need a horde character to buy it, you can use it on Alliance as well. Note that if you can't find her here, that means you haven't done the Broken Shore scenario yet, and she should be right here in Northern Durotar instead. It may seem like you're going out of your way, but for the rest of the glory achievements, there's always a few that require you to chip down a boss. If you're doing this one, I imagine you want to do the others as well, so you'll save yourself a huge headache if you just be done with it and grab this toy. If you don't have a horde character, you can just use the class trial option, complete a few quests to get 25 gold, and buy the toy. So, engage the boss. Use the toy and pull the abomination and try your best to chip it to under 5% health. Obviously disabling any damage proc talents or spells that might kill him accidentally. Once you get him down, you then want to chip Svala down to 50% health and she'll stun you and slowly drop a sword on your head. From here, you simply just want to wait and the abomination should get hit by the sword and die and you should land the achievement. If you mess up and kill the Abomination yourself or you don't get credit for some reason, there's another one on the opposite end of the room, but you'll have to reset the fight because she only does the sword thing at 50% health. So, kind of annoying, but not too bad if you get the Shrinker. Next is a twofer, and that's Lottie Dottie, we love the Scotty, and my girl likes to Scotty all the time. The first reads, defeat Scotty the Ruthless within 3 minutes of starting the gauntlet event, and the second reads, defeat Scotty after having killed Grauf from 100% to 0 in a single pass. So for this one, you just want to walk up to him to start the event and run to the end of the hallway. There will be these mobs called Harpooners. You need to kill 3 of them and pick up the harpoons that they drop, and once you have all 3, wait until Scotty is in front of the harpoons click all three back to back to back, and if you're quick enough, you should dismount him in one run. From here, you just want to kill him to get both achievements. He also has a 1% chance to drop the blue proto drake mount for all of you mount hunters out there. And the last one is King's Bane. Defeat King Ymiron without anyone triggering Bane. Just walk up and one shot him and you should get this one. Next up, we have the Drakthron Keep, located right here in Zoldrak. Three total in here, all pretty easy. First is Consumption Junction. Defeat Trollgore before Consume reaches 10 stacks. So just pop them right away and you should get it. Next is O Novos. 
defeat Nobos the Summoner without allowing any undead to reach the floor. On the eastern side of the room will be a flight of stairs with undead rushing down. You want to kill these before they reach the bottom. And throughout the fight, Novos will be shielded and also summon crystal handlers. You need to keep the undead from reaching the bottom and kill four of these crystal handlers to disable the shield. And from here you just kill them and you should get the achievement. And lastly, we have Better Off Dread. Engage King Dread and slay six Drakari Gut Rippers or Scythe Claws during his defeat. Just aggro Dread along with any six of the raptors in the garden near him. Single target down six of them and then kill Dread to get the achievement. Next is the Halls of Stone and Lightning in the Storm Peaks. Let's do the Halls of Lightning first. It's located to the right under Alduar. First is Lightning Struck. Defeat General Bjarngrim while he has a temporary electric charge. This boss will patrol around the first set of hallways and periodically buff himself with this lightning charge. So just wait until he buffs himself and then walk up and one shot him. Next is Shatter Resistant. Defeat Vulcan without allowing him to shatter more than 4 golems. Walk up, one shot. Next is Timely Death. Defeat Loken in the Halls of Lightning in 2 minutes or less. Walk up, one shot. The Halls of Stone is located right outside, right here on the map, and we have three more in here. First is Good Grief. Defeat the Maiden of Grief in one minute or less. So, just another insta-kill achievement here. Hey, I told you there were a lot of these. The next one is a little more annoying though, and that's Brand Spankin' New. Defeat the Tribunal of Ages encounter without allowing Brand Bronzebeard to take any damage. This is that defensive gauntlet boss. Find Brand Bronzebeard right here in the map and tell him that you'll escort him and kill all of the mobs along the way until he reaches this room. Talk to him to start the event and you want to stay right here at this doorway and kill any and all mobs that run up to you. It takes a few minutes and there's no way that you can speed it up so just make sure that you pay attention and don't let anything slip through because they will run right by you. Also, make sure that you don't stand near Bran, or else you'll damage him with AoE. Once you finish it, make sure that you talk to him before leaving, so he opens up the door to the final boss. This one is called Abuse the Ooze. Defeat Sanyer and kill 5 Iron Sludges during the encounter. It's another achievement where having that whole body shrinker will be handy, because you have to chip him down. If you don't have this, the best you can do is get naked, get res sickness by dying intentionally, and messing with different combinations of gear to do a little damage to him, but not too much. I really recommend just getting the shrinker though, so you can just do it. To start off, you want to bring him to 50% health, and once you do so, he'll summon these slime mobs that run to the center and combine to form those iron sludges that you need to kill. So just wait until 5 form, single target them down, and then kill Sanyer to get the achievement. Next up, let's go to the Nexus, which is located in the Borean Tundra. Very simple instance here. First up, we have Split Personality on the Grand Magus Telestra boss. Defeat her after having killed her images within 5 seconds of the first one dying. This may sound weird, but this is actually just another one shot. As long as you take her out in one hit, you should get the achievement, so that's the easiest way to deal with this one. Next is Chaos Theory on the Anomalous boss, which is that big arcane shade. Defeat him without destroying any chaotic rifts. Again, pretty simple, just one shot him with a single target spell and you're good to go. Lastly is Intense Cold on the final boss, Karastraza. To be able to summon her, you still need to kill Ormorak the Tree Shaper. He doesn't have any achievements, so just give him, and then head to the center of the instance and click the orbs to summon Karastraza. Her achievement is called Intense Cold, and it reads Defeater without allowing Intense Cold to reach more than two stacks. So again, just another one shot here. And located one floor above the Nexus is the Oculus, so let's head there. This place is a little weird because you have to ride on these drakes, 
and they don't skill with your level or gear, meaning that they do the same damage as if you were level 80. All of the achievements here are soloable as long as you have a ranged projectile with under a second cast time and travel time. For example, the Paladin's Judgment, a Mage's Ice Lance, it has to be a quick cast and it can hit instantly. So if you have that, it's soloable, but otherwise you need a friend. It'll also require three trips minimum. Remember, these are heroics, so you can only do them once a day. Keep in mind here that you will be timed, so you want to do this pretty speedy, but progress through the dungeon like normal and kill the first boss. Once you do so, three NPCs will walk out of their cages, and each one of these people represent a dragonflight, and their clothing matches them. Red, green, and bronze. If you talk to them, they give you an item that summons an appropriate colored drake. If it's your first trip here, grab whichever one you want, it doesn't really matter. You really just need them for transportation. At the top of your screen, you may have noticed a counter saying that 10 centrifuge constructs are remaining. We need to kill all 10 of these to attack the next boss. There are four on the middle platform, located right above where you got your drake. It's a giant ring, so just go around and take out all four. And you also have two platforms on the southwest and southeast sides of the map with three each. Once you kill all ten, head to the northern platform with the giant draconid waiting for you. There's no achievement with him, so just one-shot him. After doing so, mount your drake once more and head directly up and a bit to the northeast to see a mage dude casting evocation. Engage him and he'll summon some adds for you to kill and he'll teleport away. So take him out and repeat that two more times and he'll teleport to the middle ring. Just follow him there and one shot him. Again, no achievement with this guy. Finally, killing him will summon the last boss who has a whopping five achievements total. His name is the Lay Guardian Aragos and he patrols around in a circle above the highest platform in the middle. Let's take a look at every achievement, and then tackle them one by one. First is Make It Count, which is defeat him within 20 minutes of killing the first boss. So not too bad at the max level, just an easy speedrun here. Next is the Experienced Drake Rider. Kill the Lay Guardian while riding all three Drake colors on three separate visits. This is why it takes three trips like I mentioned earlier. Each time you come, you want a different colored Drake. And lastly, we have a triple, and that's the Ruby, Emerald, and Amber Void. Defeat the Lay Guardian without using a Red Drake, again without using a Green, and once more without using a Bronze. This is something you'll passively get if you're solo by just going for the experienced Drake Rider. So really, if you're solo, this is the only one that you have to worry about. As long as you're not slow, you'll get everything else while going for this one. So, as I said, this one is soloable, but it's class dependent. Again, these drakes don't scale in damage or health, so soloing him while riding one is impossible, but there are ways around it. When you call the drake, there's a second of delay before you hop on its back, so what you want to do is get right under him where you're in range as he's patrolling, summon your drake, and right before you mount it, you need to hit him with a ranged projectile that has a travel time. It needs to be strong enough to one-shot him, and it also has to have that travel time. Here you see I'm using the Paladin's Judgment. And if you do it right, you should mount the drake while your attack is on route, and you'll one-shot him and get credit for whatever color you're on for the experienced drake rider. Here you can see I got all three voids, which is weird. How do you get credit for not riding a drake and riding a drake at the same time? But as you can see, it worked for me. I also got the speedrun achievement pretty easily. And from here, you just want to come back the next day and do the same thing, except just pick a different color. After that, do it once more, and you should get the achievement. Like I said, it is kind of tricky. If you have trouble with it, or if you're on a class that just doesn't have a ranged projectile, you will need to bring a friend. If that's the case, just take the Guardian once, and have your friend on the platform below and one-shot him. Also, as a tip, remember that these achievements are account-wide now, so if you have an alt that fits the bill, you can just switch for this instance. 
Note though that the achievement as a whole is account wide and not the progress. You can do the whole achievement on an alt, but just not one drake per character if that makes sense. The next stop is Azdril Narub, which is located in Dragonblight. First is watch him die on the Krikthir the Gatewatcher fight. Kill him while three watchers are still alive, so just single target down Krikthir without killing any of the adds in front of him to get this one. Next is Hadronox Denied. Defeat Hadronox before he webs the top doors and prevents more creatures from spawning. Directly after killing the Gatewatcher, rush down to the spider webs to find Hadronox fighting trash mobs and just take him out right there to earn the achievement. And lastly is Gotta Go on the Anubarak boss. Kill him in 4 minutes or less. Hit him with everything you got and he will burrow no matter how much damage you do, but just wait for him to pop up again and take him out to get the achievement. Next is An Kahet, the Old Kingdom, which is right next door. There's a portal back to Dragonblight if you just keep going straight after Anubarak. Three more in here. First is Respect Your Elders. Defeat Elder Naddox without killing any of the An Kahar Guardians. These guys will spawn and make the boss immune, so the easiest way to deal with it is to just one-shot him with your big stuff before that happens. And next is Volunteer Work. Defeat Jadoga Shadowseeker without killing any Twilight Volunteers. You're free to kill the adds that are already there. In fact, you have to to make the boss spawn. And for the achievement, the best way to deal with it is to just one-shot her like many of the others. Lastly for this place is Velaz's Quick Demise. Kill him in two minutes or less. You guessed it. Walk up and one-shot him. The next stop is the Violet Hold which is kind of annoying because it requires multiple trips just like the oculus. This is of course located in the Northrend Dalaran. The way this dungeon works is you fight six waves of enemies summoned through portals, and after you get through those, one of six bosses will be released. It's completely random. This repeats with six more portals and another boss at random, and then after six more, the final boss, Cyanagosa, will spawn. She has one achievement called Defenseless. Defeat her without using any of the defense control crystals. These are the little red crystals that you can use to damage everything if you get in a pinch. Obviously, at the max level, they're not really needed at all, so just don't click on them for this achievement and kill Cyanagosa. So, that's the one you can get guaranteed. We have three more though, and they're all based on luck. First is Lockdown. Defeat all six of the random bosses within the dungeon. Again, these spawn after portal 6 and 12, so minimum it'll be three trips to this place if you get unique bosses every time. It took me about seven runs to finally get this one, but it could be more or less for you depending on your luck. Note that the final boss will always be Cyanagosa, so if you strike out at boss number two, go ahead and hearth out. Two of these random bosses also have achievements, but they're both pretty easy. First is Dehydration off the water boss, which is Ikaron. Defeat him without allowing any of the Iker globules to merge. Very simple, just kill him before he splits, and you should get the achievement. Next is Void Dance for the Void Walker, Zuramat. Defeat him without killing any Void Sentries, so just another one shot here. Use single target to be safe. And the next stop is the Culling of Stratholme, which is located in the Caverns of Time. To start this place, talk to Chromie in the beginning, and use the item she gives you to reveal all of the plague crates, and then proceed west to Stratholme and talk to her to start the dungeon. The first one is Zombie Fest. Kill 100 Risen Zombies in one minute. There are a few ways to do this, but the easiest I've found is located after the Chrono Lord Epoch boss. So just kill everything normally, and escort Arthas throughout the dungeon. After killing the Chrono Lord, you'll get to a burning street with a bunch of zombies. Just leave Arthas there without talking to him, and go through this entire hallway and gather all of the zombies without killing them. And once you reach the end, just throw out an AoE to grab the achievement. The next one is the Culling of Time. Defeat the Infinite Corruptor. 
This is a timed event, which should be pretty trivial at the max level, unless you went AFK or something. Upon starting the dungeon, you have 25 minutes to save a Bronze Drake. So, right from where you left off with the zombies, before you enter Malganus' room, hang a left around this back alley to find a Bronze Drake being tortured. As long as you get here within 25 minutes, he should be here, so just kill him for the achievement, and you'll also get a mount as a bonus. Just one more dungeon to go, and that's Gundrak, located in Zuldrak. Enter the western entrance right here on the map. First is snakes. Why'd it have to be snakes? Defeat Sladran without getting snake wrapped, so just another one shot here. Make sure that you click the altar behind him after taking him out. There's also the Colossus boss on the southern side. He doesn't have an achievement, but you still need to kill him and click his altar to reach the final boss later on. Next is Less Robbie. Kill Morabi without letting him transform into a mammoth. So just walk up and one shot him. You know the drill by now. After killing him, turn around and you'll notice a hidden room has opened up. Follow that passage and kill the adds until the secret Ek the Ferocious boss spawns, but don't kill him right away. Just wait there until he does his barf attack and make sure that you get hit by it. You'll know that you got it because you'll get a 60 minute debuff. Once you have it though, you're free to kill him. Lastly, we have the final boss, Galdara. The achievement is What the Ek. Kill him while you have the Ek Residue debuff that you just got. This guy also has the Share the Love achievement, which requires 5 people like I mentioned earlier, but as of patch 8.0, they removed it from the meta achievement, so you don't have to worry about it. I recorded this video before the patch, which is why you see that I got my mount from it. It was my last one. But with the Ek achievement, you should have every single one for the glory of the hero, and you'll immediately get the right Proto Drake as a reward for your time and effort. A pretty nifty one, I think. This was the first Glory Meta achievement, and there are two more for this expansion. One in Aldwar, and the other in Ice Crown, so I'll be sure to cover those in the near future. If you're watching this video at a later date, check the description for a playlist because I do plan on covering every single one of these if you like the format. If you have trouble with any of these, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to help out if I see it. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Farewell for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again soon.